Hello Internet, uh, making this video because I just got back from my local record store and um, I go there periodically to check out what they have in used vinyl and usually they, they have, um, you, you know, you gotta dig around for a while and look at what they have. They just have, you know, basically whatever you know, people have bought up already. And um, But this time I went and I was quite surprised because they had just a lot of stuff I've never seen before, including like really good albums. Usually, um, you won't be able to find the best albums. You know, a lot of classic rock, classic albums, you won't be able to find there. But um, this time I went, and they were all there, and so I had to get a bunch. And so I wanted to make a video showing them off, and also talking about why I'm so excited to get my hands on it. So uh, first album I wanted to talk about was Highway 61 Revisited by Bob Dylan and this is my favorite 60's Dylan album and in case you're not familiar with it it has Like a Rolling Stone on it it has uh, Desolation Roll which I think might be his two best songs from the 60's um, and it's got a lot of great uh, album tracks like It Takes a Lot to Laugh It Takes a Train to Cry and Ballad of the Thin Man and it's just uh, fantastic there's one album that I would um, say I really wanted to own on vinyl. It would be this one, and so I just really stoked to get my hands on it. Uh, next one I got was the next album by Bob Dylan, which is um, Blonde on Blonde. And um, as you can see here, I have I have it on CD, and as you can see, it's a single CD. Uh, the album's about 73 minutes long. I so it fits on one CD. But of course, when it was first released in 1966, it was uh, Rock and Roll's first double album. And something I didn't know until I got my hands on it was it actually opens up uh, vertically like this. And um, you can, uh, yeah, so you can see kind of the full art is Dylan um, looking really cool standing up against the wall is kind of what he did in the mid 60s. He was so cool and stand next to things. Um, now on the inside you can see this collage of photos and um, you can tell by this that this is not the original issue but a um, reissue because on the original issue there was a different configuration of photos including um, a photo I think of an actress who never gave her release to appear in the album one. And so, um, so in all later editions of which this is one, uh, that photo was left off. Uh, next album is, of course, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and by the Beatles. And, um, and it's in pretty good condition. And the thing that really uh, excited me and made me have to get it was it's even got cut out. Which and it hasn't been cut out and it's in great condition. And uh, you know, the cutouts are a mustache, a picture card of Sgt. Pepper himself, uh, stripes, two badges, and a stand up of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. So, um, although this is not my favorite Beatles album, um, that would be the White Album. And, you know, it's, it's just in such good condition, and I've never seen this before in real life, so I figured, um, uh, what the heck, I'll get this one. Next one I got is also the, the Beatles' next album, which is the Magical Mystery Tour, and this is the um, LP US version. In the U UK, it was originally released as a double EP, with just the first six tracks, which were the tra songs that were in the film. But um, the LP version also has five songs that were released on singles, um, including my favorite Beatles song of all time, Strawberry Fields Forever. So, um, and also very cool about this, which made me have to get it, is it comes with this full color uh, booklet. And it's kind of falling out, but it's um, just very, very cool. And, um, you know, I have the CD version of this, 
but it does not come with the booklet. It just comes with like one crummy uh, photo. And um, so, I, yeah, very, very excited about that. And the last album that I picked up was Stevie Wonder's Innovations. And um, his other albums are from the 60s, but this one's from the 70s. And, um, you know, this is what a lot of critics would call the best Stevie Wonder album. Uh, I personally think Songs in the Key of Life is a little bit better, but, um, you know, you really can't go wrong with uh, Higher Ground, Living for the City, and um, maybe my favorite song from this album, He's Mr. Know-It-All. And, um, but I do think it's just got um, the most beautiful art for many of Stevie Wonder's albums. Um, and, you know, and I've never seen it on vinyl before, but it just looks really great, um, and uh, it's got some cool images on the inside too, and um, yeah, and this is the only um, uh, of these albums also that I don't own on CD, and so um, yeah, I, I don't think I've actually listened to it all the way through, so um, I look forward to listening to this one, and um, yeah, so th those are the the ones. Um, that's the albums that I bought today. Um, I actually was close to buying a couple more. Um, I had in my hand uh, the Beach Boys Surf's Up album and John Lennon's Imagine album, and uh, I was thinking about getting Led Zeppelin's fourth album, but um, I opted instead for these five that I got, which I, I just think are uh, really excited about. Yeah, so thanks for watching, and um, yeah, I'd love to see, uh, in, you know, in the comments about any uh, cool uh, vinyl finds.